Ahoy, ye mateys! I have some exciting news to announce, which is that I now have a better microphone. So, last video I attempted live commentary for the first time on a pirate PvP video. People seem to enjoy that, so I'm going to try to do more of those. Uh, last video's match was against a high ranking swashbuckler who was using a charging team, the units with the longest charging range in the game, which is Nozika, Koro, and Fan. Now, in this video, I'm going to show me versing the same type of opponent, different person, but with the same team setup, slightly different gear setup, and different playstyle. I won this match, so I think it's a really interesting comparison video to the previous one if you want to just see what it's like to face that kind of opponent as a privateer. Let it just be known that the opponent I'm facing in this video, Quick Harry Abbott, he has beaten me more times actually than I have beaten him. I think it's probably my most difficult matchup against Swashbuckler, either that or against Witch because Witch can control our healing. Anyway, uh, so this video was recorded again with live commentary. Feel free to offer constructive feedback on my commentary. Yeah. Okay, we got a swashbuckler, Quick Harry Abbott. He is using two charging companions, but his Nausicaa is a great Nausicaa. I'm actually going to shield myself because I've faced him before and what he likes to do versus privateers is focus down the pirate. Okay, he's moving closer in preparation to fog. My Emmet cannot see any of them, which is really, really frustrating. Okay, you know what? I'm actually gonna have Nozika just go after his Nozika because otherwise. He is just going to fog charge and all of my units are in range, so. And if I use Contessa's guarded now, then he can simply wait to charge. So hopefully this grit exchange will mean that I can trade my Nausicaa for his Nausicaa. Alright. No, don't top don't double tap on him, just focus down the Nozika. Alright. Phew. Okay, so now I don't need to worry about his Nozika charging anymore. He could choose to take down my Nozika this turn, but if he does that, then I am safe from the fog threat for one turn. Okay. Now let me see, can Emmett see them now? Oh, thank god, he can see all of them. Okay, let's just slow all of them. And... I am going to start applying some pressure. If he chooses to wait out the slow, then that gives me more chances too. <laughs> set up buffs and stuff All right, I'm gonna set up buffs then and I have barricades in hand now so I can actually let's see But then I would have to spend the one turn moving myself 
but it's okay because they are still slowed right now so yep I can afford to spend one turn casting this buff slow is gonna last two more turns Okay, I'm going to move into position here. Yep, I have the discipline up for nine more rounds. The minute he bunches together to fog, I am going to cast my guns. Okay, he's gonna start putting on some buffs. I'm gonna actually make it costly for him to move. Yeah. Oh, I got a super. I had the discipline up, but that was really lucky. And I get some traps in his way. The slow has worn off, but he has yet to get into formation for fogging. Now my best chance to take down Goro is to uh, use Contessa's hide combined with backstab. But then I have to wait for him to fog first, I think, because... Otherwise, if I use Contessa's hide and then he fogs Goro, then Contessa's hide is going to run out first. I don't know, it depends on what he does, because right now he is not in a position to fog. I feel like he probably should... Okay, he used one of his heals. Let me see, how many does he have? He has okay, one from the robe. He only has two big heals. The second win from the weapon and revive. Three forts, one kraken's lament. Uh, and only one extra hide that I need to worry about. So four hides in total. Hmm. What if I have... Contessa move forward? Then... He can reach me with both his pirate and fan. I have one shield on. And Emmet has overwatch. Okay, he's, he used uh, Goro's charge on Contessa. So now she has her accuracy reduced. See, he's trying to take out Contessa. That was a pretty good move. Um Okay. Okay, well. Goro is the only one in Emmett's range right now, so he will double tap on him for sure and then he could fog himself and fan and come for me but i have one shield but i need to take down goro i think i, I need to clean up goro oh no goro block
Okay, he's definitely getting ready to fog himself and fan. He only has one accurate, uh, one agility buff, so I think it's a good time for me to fort right now. And yeah, let's do that. Quick Harry is now a slow Harry. So that's his only agility buff. If I can survive that, then it reduces the chances of him getting criticals on me and Emmett, since Emmett is will based as well. Oh man, I want Blast of Discord so bad right now. I'm just gonna go for Goro. And if he approaches, he will be. Uh, Emmett will shoot, so. Yep, Goro is gone. If he approaches. Me with his pirate, he will be stopped and he can't reach Emmett. Okay, he's gonna fog and have Fan go after Emmett, I'm guessing. Oh, that's interesting. He's not attacking yet. Well, then, I am going to run since. He still has the slows on him. Yeah, we can just keep running. There's three more rounds of the hurricane. Minus two movement range. So, Fan has a movement range of five. Two, three, four, five. Um, Emmett is still going to be in range, unfortunately. Uh, what I could do is... I'm- I probably lost Emmett. It's too bad. One option I had was to put a barricade just to block her way, but the black fog lasts four turns, so... Oh, okay, he's not attacking yet. Um... Is there a way? Emmett's range is so, just so short, his movement range. There's no way he can get out of Fan's range. And if I shield Emmett, then he can simply purge and have Fan. Yeah, I think I just have to keep running. I just have to keep running out of purge range, so... Okay, let's see if that's the... Uh, yup, it's the big poison. Oh, interesting. He's still not hitting with Fan, I wonder why. He's waiting for me to shield Emmett. I bet that's what he's doing. Okay, well, what I could do is just hide now. I don't think I can save Emmett. Emmett might as well just shoot this pet because I, I don't see a way to save him. If I shield him, then Harry can just purge and have Fan kill Emmett the same turn.
but on the plus side, I survived his shroud combo, for sure. So he is going to have a pretty hard time killing my pirate. Okay, that's interesting. Well, in that case, maybe I can save Emmett. I am just gonna barricade. So this way, at least only one unit can reach Emmett. Oh, but their crit buffs and agility buffs are off, so... Yeah, Emmett probably will survive. I don't know, we'll have to see. Oh, he chose to break the barricade. Hmm, alright. I could just continue to run, I guess, and what's his range? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Emmett can slow them both. I hope that slows by 2. Yup, it slows by 2, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, he cannot reach my pirate. He reached me with fan. Oh wow, I got a critical. I'm gonna get a soul shroud on fan. Oh no, I didn't get down to... Okay, I'm gonna... I'm gonna shield, and then... He's gonna... If he purges, then only Fan can hit me. Then I can just shield again. Yeah. And if he purges, then he can't move his pirate, so my Emmet can reduce his pirate. And there's just one more round of Assassin's Shroud, so I will be able to heal after that. I honestly don't know why he didn't just use Fan's super on Emmet when she had the uh, crit buffs up and she was hidden. Maybe he really wanted to get rid of my pirate first, who knows. Okay, he's not purging. He moved his pirate out of... Um... Out of Emmett's range. So Emmett couldn't reduce him. I'm just gonna stay put because that way... He cannot reposition his units to take advantage of Fan's flanking. Oh, I still need to survive one more round of Shroud. Alright, I'm gonna move Emmett closer. is gone. Now he could purge and use a fan to hit me, but I'm an elusive 4, so I'm likely to dodge. All privateers get 3 ranks of elusive by default, and then I have an extra grant from my pet. Okay, he went for the purge. He's gonna use fan to hit me. 
and I blocked as expected. So I am going to heal and I'm gonna use Emmett's reduced weapon power on Harry. So then Fan is the only unit that can do any significant amount of damage on me. Oh, he got a critical hit on me. I got a critical shroud on him. That could have been really bad. He could have just killed me. Wow. I think I have to heal and um yeah. Because if I shield it my health was just too low, so I have to heal. Um Hopefully I dodge. The only way he's killing me is- okay. He didn't try to go for a critical assassin. Alright. Now I can shield safely <laughs> because he used his purge. And um... If I get very, very lucky, Fan will die. Oh, nope. Not very lucky. That's alright. I have a shield on, and I'm in elusive, and he has reduced weapon power. Okay, he's gonna put on a crit buff. I'm going to heal again so I don't die. Actually, let's just um, give Emmett a bit of health too. He still has one round of reduced weapon power. Fan will die unless Emmett misses, so. Oh no, his weapon power wore off. I think I should still be able to survive though. Okay, he's going for a poison. Fan got a critical hit on me, which is annoying. gonna heal again and yeah please kill fan thank you all right now the shark should also be dead okay yep there's no way he's killing me this turn I don't think a super assassin kills me. We'll have to see. Oh, he went for the assassin. And he did not get a critical, but he did get a critical on the witch hunter. Okay. Let me see, would, would a super have killed me? I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm gonna run some calculations later and see. Uh, alright. Let me, let me just heal up, I guess. Yeah, I'm just gonna heal and... Swashbucklers have such high dodge, it is really annoying. 
Okay, that's a fort. Was that his first fort? I think it was, because he spent a lot of turns just moving and not casting any buffs. So he has two more forts. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna keep healing, I guess. Keep healing and hitting. Last round of my Valor's Fortress. Oh, he got a super. That was just a regular hit. It wasn't a special one. The animation looks slightly different when they use a different... When they use a special hit. Okay, well, I am going to shield again then. Yes, his grand shadow dance wore off. Oh. <laughs> this game sometimes, he did not critical the assassin with the grand shadow dance, but he's criticaling all these smaller hits. Okay, I think I can... Let's see. All of these last five rounds... So this increases the chances of uh, my heals going critical, guns going critical, Emmett's hits going critical, because we're both will base units. Okay, he used his Valor's shield, the 25%. Uh, I have three more rounds of that, let me just put on another critical buff. His Valor's Fortress is running out soon. Oh man, I might really need to get an accuracy buff on Emmett. That's really, really annoying. Okay. Uh. One more round of Valor's Fortress, so let's just go ahead and do that. And then I'm gonna use my Brutal Charge. He could just use another fort, he has two left. Okay, he went for the other fort. Um, now he's offensively capable with the 5 round fort, so I'm just gonna put a 5 round accuracy debuff on him. That way I don't have to replace my fort immediately. Did not get a critical soul shroud. It's alright. Now what I could do with my crit buffs is just heal up. And he has the brutal charge on him so he won't be able to chain me to death. If he hides, he will basically only be able to hit on the last turn. I mean, I guess he could use one of those guaranteed hits, like Assassin Strike, but... Okay, he's going for the hide. Um... 
Well, I'm gonna shield then. Yeah, he's forcing me to shield. I'm actually gonna have Emmett just top up my health a little bit. Because Harry could easily kill Emmett if... Uh, if my pirate dies, so I need to stay alive. Yep, mega heal with the will buff and critical buff. Okay, I should be able to live. Then I think after this, he has only the walk-in shadows left and he just used his weapon heal. So those were his two big heals that he had. After this, he probably just has a ruse and that's it. Hmm. He can't kill my pirate. <laughs> I guess he could kill Emmett? Okay, he used his ruse. That's it. That's all of his heals. I have this. But I kind of prefer to heal right now. Nope, I didn't critical that. It's okay. <laughs> He's gonna run. So I'm gonna have Emmett clear that for me so I can use my Soul Reaver. I guess I should just move close anyways. He can just run because uh, his range is longer than mine as a swashbuckler. Okay, he used um, his Kraken's Lament, which is not going to block magical damage. My will buff wore off, which is a shame, but um, yeah, I think this is the most exposed he's gonna get, so let's just do that. And then Emmett needs to move into range. Didn't critical that, it's okay. Damage is damage, since he's out of heals. I have 2,000 health, I don't think he can chain me down. Oh, he got a mega. Well, I'm in elusive now, so I'm just gonna heal up. what rank of tide he has. He doesn't have tide. Okay, because I know that high ranks of tide can um, increase the accuracy. Kraken's Lament is still there. So I should just I'm gonna stay alive. Why 
once the Kraken's Lament wears off, I'm gonna try to assassin. At which point he could choose to fort again or hide. He's hiding. Okay. Walk in shadows. Well, this <laughs> might not break his height if he misses, but I kind of need the health. Can you not miss? Oh, he missed. I got a super though. <laughs> okay, he tried to use a regular hit, but I blocked that one. Alrighty. Okay, now I can use my assassin. GG! So, I took some pretty big risks in that match. Mostly what I did was I traded my Nausicaa for his Nausicaa and I sort of traded Contessa for his Goro before he could fog them. Because the issue is when he fogs his entire team and then sends all of his charging units after me, I die. So I wanted to prevent that from happening, which is why I made those risky trades. And what was really interesting too was that he didn't kill Emmett. I think he was saving Fan's super for me, but that turned out to be a mistake because Emmett really carried the late game for me. So that was a really interesting match. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.